G'day everybody, Matt Edwards here from the PRD Nationwide Country and Lifestyle Sales Team. Just coming to you again with the monthly wrap. Uh, I've been a bit slack on the monthly wrap the last two months, um, just a, a few different things going on. Uh, month of September was was quite strong, was certainly into the full swing of the, uh, the spring selling season. Um, I had the first two weeks off uh, with the birth of Chaz, my little boy. Um, so I had a fortnight off there with the family, but um, last two weeks still managed to go to contract on seven of my properties and it's yeah it's it's just again supply and demand there's i think there's less listings on the market at the moment as there has been on previous years so it's driving buyer competition and uh it's a, there's never been a better time to sell for for owners of properties because um the buyers are fighting over properties that you know there's people missing out they're driving the prices up there some of them are jumping straight in at the asking price others are jumping above the asking price just to make sure that they get it um, because they've been they've missed out on other properties so it's, it's been interesting um so in that last fortnight strong sales seven went under contract there's one there in creswick it went for full price uh, one in scarsdale full price uh, one in gordon went five thousand dollars above the asking price at the top end um, with two people fighting over that one uh, one in Skipton, again, multiple offers, $5,000 above the top end of the asking price. One in Beaufort, um, just a little bit below the asking price, that one. Uh, one in Wilson's Road in Haddon has gone under contract, had a lot of numbers through that one. Haddon's a very popular area, uh, particularly with Ballarat stretching out into that direction, um, you know, with supermarkets and shops and, and housing. Haddon doesn't seem that far away anymore. Um, so that one went under contract uh, within the asking price range that we had on that. Um, and a block of land in Smysdale on the Glenelg Highway there went for the, the full asking price. So as you can see, there's a bit of a pattern there. Like I said, supply and demand, there's not as many houses or blocks of land available as there has been previous years, but there's no shortage of buyers. So if you are thinking about selling, it's a pretty smart time to do so. And particularly now that we're in spring, everything's looking better. Gardens are out, nice and green, flowers, and, you know, water in the dam. So um, it's a good time of year to sell. We do find that this time of year, as well, you know, there's a lot of people trying to get sorted for the new school year or be in and out before Christmas. Um, so if you're listing now, you've sort of got a week or two of set up, then you've got to, you know, whatever time frame it might take. And days on market are getting lower and lower as well. So you, you probably can expect a quicker sale. And there's a chance you could still be out by Christmas or at least before the new school year kicks off. Um, as I said, a few months until Christmas. Tends to die off just before Christmas traditionally, so you'd really want to get in now if you want to take advantage of this hot market that's going on. The, um, the auction clearance rates in Melbourne certainly haven't died down, so what's actually happening is a lot of the people we're meeting are coming out of the Melbourne market. They've been priced out of it. Um, they're sick of losing under competition at auction. Um, the properties that they've sold down there even, you know, they've, got, they've made more money than they expected, so they're coming here cashed up and, uh, and ready to buy properties so we're starting to see a, a lot more of a Melbourne trend. I know the last um, five houses in particular that have sold in the Gordon area in the Moorabool Shire out down towards Belan have all sold to Melbourne buyers so they can see the value in coming that little bit further down the highway um, and they get you know acreage properties, big houses for in space for the kids to play and, and get out into schools that aren't so crowded. So for the seven properties that sold in the last fortnight of September the, uh, the total sales price volume or value was 2207500 so there's a bit a lot of mix of um, hot you know the highest sale price within that was 680000 and the lowest was 75000 so a bit of a mix there. Um, auction success rate has been very similar here in Ballarat, particularly for the central properties. Um, not my specialty, I do the country and lifestyle, but I've, I'm lucky enough to be the auctioneer for a couple of the properties um, for the residential team here. We just had one recently go $130,000 above reserve just near the train station, and another one that sold prior to auction, um, sort of uh, probably about 50 or 60 grand above what we expected. So if you are in that central, uh, central district of the CBD district of Ballarat, um, and you're thinking auction might be an option for you, it's, they're going nuts. Um, for anyone who hasn't sort of sussed me out before, ratemyagent.com.au, now up to 115 testimonials from buyers and sellers. So if you're thinking about using or picking an agent, um, I don't want to talk too much about myself, jump on there and see what other people have had to say. And um, like I always say, most of my business comes from referrals, from word of mouth. So thank you to those who have been a part of that so far this year. And if you do know of anybody who's looking at buying or selling, I'd love to meet with them and just have a chat and see if I can help them. I'll see you next month. Bye.